Start by letting y is equal to vx. Taking the derivative of both sides, we get dy upon dx is equal to v plus x times dv upon dx. Using this result, the differential equation can be written as x times in brackets v plus x times dv upon dx is equal to vx plus square root of x square plus v square x square. The right hand side is equal to vx plus x times square root of 1 plus v square. This simplifies to v plus x times dv upon dx is equal to v plus square root of 1 plus v square. v cancels across the left hand side and the right hand side. And separating the variables, we get dv upon root of 1 plus v square is equal to dx upon x. Integrate both sides and add the constant of integration, say L and C on the right hand side. We get integral dv upon root of 1 plus v square is equal to ln x plus ln c, which is equal to ln cx. Now to evaluate the integral on the left hand side, let v is equal to tan theta. Therefore, dv is equal to sec square theta d theta. Therefore, the left hand side is equal to integral sec square theta d theta divided by root of 1 plus tan square theta. 1 plus tan square theta is equal to sec square theta and therefore this integral is equal to integral sec theta d theta which is equal to ln of sec theta plus tan theta. And this is equal to the right hand side which is ln cx. Therefore, sec theta plus tan theta is equal to cx. The left hand side can be written as tan theta plus square root of 1 plus tan square theta. And this is equal to cx. Replacing tan theta with v, the solution becomes v plus square root of 1 plus v square is equal to cx. Multiplying both sides with x, we get vx plus x times square root of 1 plus v square is equal to cx square. Now vx is equal to y, therefore this becomes y plus square root of x square plus v square x square is equal to cx square. Again replacing vx with y, we get y plus square root of x square plus y square is equal to cx square, which is the required solution.